Hi all, in the last lecture I gave you this question to solve. This is a question from propositional logic based on the concept of converse contrapositive. So let's solve it. The question is saying that consider the statement if Oscar eats Chinese food then he drinks milk. So this statement is given to you. This is a conditional statement and the question is asking what is the converse of this statement? What is the contrapositive of this statement? Can this contrapositive be false? Five questions we need to answer. Okay. So let's see the given statement. The given statement is a conditional statement and this is saying that if Oscar eats Chinese food then then you can see he drinks milk. So let's assume that let's denote this Oscar eats Chinese food. Let's denote this by the variable C and he drinks milk. Let's denote this by the variable M. So this proposition Oscar eats Chinese food I am representing by the propositional variable C he drinks milk this proposition we are representing with the propositional variable m so now the statement is basically if c then m so what is the given statement the given conditional statement is basically c implies m if oscar eats chinese food then he drinks milk this is the given conditional statement if c then m now the first part the question is asking what is the converse of this statement it is very simple if you have any conditional statement then what is the converse of that for this statement the converse the converse remember for this statement the converse is going to be m implies c means it simply means that if oscar drinks milk then he will eat chinese food and what will be the contrapositive what is going to be the contrapositive of this statement for this conditional statement the contrapositive will be negation m implies negation c so remember the converse is going to be if oscar drinks milk then oscar eats chinese food so very simple the converse is going to be if oscar drinks milk drinks milk okay so you can very easily you can write it if oscar drinks milk then he eats chinese food okay so like this you can write he eats chinese food okay so this is your contrapositive uh, this is the converse this is the converse so this is part a so for the part a the question is asking converse the answer will be if oscar drinks milk then he will eat chinese food this is the answer what about the contrapositive the contrapositive will be negation m implies negation c means if oscar does not drink milk then he does not eat chinese food okay so this is going to be the answer so remember the contrapositive will be if if negation m then negation c means if oscar does not drink milk then oscar does not eat chinese food this is going to be the contrapositive so this is your part b so we have done part a part b these are over in the part c we are asking is it possible for contrapositive to be false is it possible that contrapositive can be false if it is false then what that tells you so remember the contrapositive that can be false yeah that can be false no problem so uh, the question the part c let's see the part c is asking can the contrapositive be false so let's see the contrapositive is very simple that is negation m implies negation c so can it be false yes it can be false no problem so can it be false is it possible that it can be false can it be false the answer is yes it is possible yes possible right it is possible when it will be false it will be false remember yes converse can be false because converse is also a conditional statement this can be false so when it will be false it will be false when this negation m is true and negation c is a false so you can easily see that if you have a conditional statement p implies q then when this is false this conditional statement is false if and only if p is true and q is false so remember this is the only way to make implication false now similarly here you have this implication can it be false yes it can be false it will be false when remember this contrapositive will be false when this will be false this will be false if and only if your negation m is true this condition is true but the conclusion is false okay so i can simply say that it will be false when m is false and c is true okay so very simple the answer will be this contrapositive can be false when m is false c is true now here one thing important see if the contrapositive is false 
then the original statement also will be false because we know that if you take any conditional statement c implies m that is same as that is equivalent to its contrapositive so i can say that the given statement this is the given statement this is the given conditional statement and this is the contrapositive any conditional statement this is the contrapositive I can say that any conditional statement is always equivalent to its contrapositive. So if contrapositive is false, then it simply means that your given statement is also false. So the answer will be remember for option C. The answer is, is it possible that contrapositive can be false? The answer is yes. Yes, it is a possible. And if it is false, then what that will tell you? It will tell us that original conditional statement is also false. So it will tell you that original statement is also false. is also false so i hope this point is clear the option c remember the option c is asking can the contrapositive is false can it be false is it possible that contrapositive can be false yes it can be false no problem because this is a implication statement this is the contrapositive and this is a implication statement so it can be false it will be false when condition is true but the conclusion is false means negation m is true negation c is false it means when m is false c is true so you can easily see this contrapositive can be false and if this contrapositive is false then the given statement this given statement also will be false because every conditional statement is equivalent to its contrapositive so if the contrapositive is false then this given statement is also false so here i can say is it possible it can be false contrapositive can be false yes it is possible and if contrapositive is false then what it tells us it tells us that the original statement is also false now let's see so we have done this part c also now let's see the option d option d is saying suppose the original statement is true okay thus suppose the given statement this given statement is true and oscar drinks milk so this is what we need to assume we need to suppose that so in the option d we need to suppose that the given statement is true the given statement is c implies m so let's assume that this is a true and the question is saying that oscar drinks milk that is also true okay so means this m oscar drinks milk that is also true in the part remember in this part d these are given to you okay so this information is given to us okay we have this information that c implies m is true this is the original statement and this is also true this is what the question is saying option d suppose the original statement is true and that oscar drinks milk okay so i can say that this is true also m is true now what can you say about c so the question is asking can you conclude anything about his eating chinese food so can you say anything about c the answer is no the answer is no can you can you conclude anything the answer is no why very simple c this is true the question is saying that this statement this complete statement is true also option d is saying that m is true this is true now what can you say about c remember this complete statement is true this complete statement is true and this m is true what can you say about c c can be true or false right because we know that false implies true is also true and false uh, and true implies true is also true true implies true is also true so you can easily see that with this information c implies m is true m is true okay so this c implies m this entire statement is true also this m is true what can you say about c this c may or may not be true this can be true or this can be false either this can be true or this can be false we cannot say anything about c it can be true or it can be false so can you conclude anything about c the answer is no so we have done option d also now let's see option e option e is saying that suppose that original statement is true and oscar does not drink milk okay in the option e we are saying that the given statement is true so c implies m this is true suppose the original statement is true you can see suppose the original statement is true and oscar does not drink milk oscar does not drink milk means m is false oscar does not drink milk that simply means m is false okay so this information is given to us in the option e please see the option e 
सपोज दैट द ओरिजिनल स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू एंड दैट ओस्कर डज नॉट ड्रिंक मिल्क मीन्स एम इज फॉल्स ओस्कर डज नॉट ड्रिंक मिल्क दैट सिंपली मीन्स एम इज फॉल्स सो आई कैन से दैट सी इंप्लाइज एम दैट इज ट्रू एम इज फॉल्स नाउ कैन यू से एनी थिंग अबाउट सी सो रिमेंबर सी इंप्लाइज एम दिस एंटायर स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू ऑल्सो एम इज फॉल्स ऑल्सो दिस एम इज फॉल्स नाउ टेल मी If this entire statement is true, C implies M is true and M is false. Can C be true? So definitely C cannot be true, right? So C can uh, C cannot be true. C cannot be true. Why C cannot be true? Because if C is true, then true implies false will be false. But the question, but the option C, but but the option E is saying that the given statement is true. So you can see. Please understand that M is false. Okay. Option E is saying M is false, so this M is false. Now, can this C be true? Is it possible that C can be true? If C is true, then true implies false will be false. But it is given that the conditional statement C implies M is true, so I can say C cannot be true. So it automatically means that C will be false. So you can conclude from this information. remember from this information we uh, from this information we can conclude that c is definitely false means he does not uh, eat chinese food okay so in the option e can you conclude anything about eating chinese food the answer is yes oscar does not eat chinese food so this is the final answer for option e i hope you understood this okay so we have done this question let me know in the comments did you solve this question correctly all the five parts Did you solve this question correctly?